Lydia U. Rahman at the Chisenhale Gallery Mark Blower Lydia U. Rahman's ash and chalk wall has been crumbling into a state of sonically induced disintegration at the New Museum Triennial in New York and on this side of the pond the physical as well as the oral impact of sound also plays a major part in the U in Us, her solo exhibition at Chisenhale Gallery in London. Last Tuesday, 19 March, the British Algerian artist's particular power with vibrations was directly experienced by Chisenhale patrons and friends, including the artists Cara Thuring, Rosalind Nasher Shibi and Yuri Patterson, who were instructed to sit a lie on a specially installed temporary wooden floor, and listen to Uraman in conversation with Chisenhale director Polly Staple. At the same time they were also hearing and feeling the tremors and tremblings of Paradise, an hour-long soundscape emanating from 12 transducer speakers and 12 amplifiers embedded beneath the floor, and named after Paradise Plage, a coastal area of Oran. Uraman's show draws on personal and family experiences and extensive time spent by the London-based artist in and around the family home in Oran, Algeria to address wide issues of displacement, immigration, absence and presence and charged spaces. You don't get much more visceral than having one of your artworks drilled into your skull and the show's main talking point has been the pair of gold teeth, one mounted on the gallery wall, the other permanently embedded in the artist's mouth. Both were made by melting down a gold chain purchased by the artist in Oran for 300 euros, the price of a boat passage from Algeria to Spain. They also relate to the fact that Hurahman's grandfather had all his teeth removed in order to avoid being drafted into the French army in the Second World War. Paradise might fill the gallery with sound but in a very particular way it also offers an intense bodily intimacy as it reverberates through the bodies of visitors, immersing them in ambient audio recorded in and around the streets of Oran, as well as recorded compositions by Hurahman and friends. This includes the classically trained artist playing the violin and the gembri, a traditional Algerian instrument used in Sufi music, which is apparently used to induce a state of trance, although everyone appeared to remain alert on Tuesday. Our Hamain was also combining sound with a different form of private encounter last weekend when she and her musician friends and housemates, some of whom had collaborated on Paradise, threw open their cavernous Brixton live workspace to a multifarious musical event come installation last Saturday 13 March. She wasnt playing herself but orchestrated the proceedings, with musicians performing in all the bedrooms and even the bathroom. In her own room there was Alex White from the band Insecure Men on saxophone and John Moody on clarinet, with a music producer Felicita playing an organ in another. There was a bar in the kitchen and at one point everyone crushed in for a jam session in the bathroom as all the different instrumental elements were electronically mixed to reach an amped up crescendo. While no more invitations from Brixton basements are imminent. This week offers the final opportunity to view, and feel, Uraman's Chisholm Hale show and also to leave your own trace, with the marks of all visitors passing through the specially treated silver-plated brass doors acting to rub off the tarnished surface and reveal the gleaming silver beneath.